Hey, and welcome back one more time to the Oki Smoking Channel. John here and doing it a little different. We're actually indoors uh, for this cook today, uh, but it does have a little bit of an outdoors theme to it. And that's because just a couple days ago, I went ahead and smoked a, a pork shoulder. It was 10 and a half pounds, cooked it for 15 hours. Uh, you can look, I'll put a link below. I didn't do a full video of it. Um, I did do a little short, short 60 second video. If you want to just check it out, I'll put that in the description. You can look at it. Well, that was so much. It's, it needs to be redone, I guess you would say. And that's with some leftovers. So we're going to turn that pork shoulder into some tamales today. I've got a steamer in the back. We've already got them on here. I'll show you kind of how we got there. When I say we, um, Dolores is the one that put much of this uh, together. Uh, so uh, she went ahead and added the, the, the red sauce and uh, the, got the corn husks and all of that. And uh, we now have it on this steamer. Now this isn't something we do very often. We've only done it a couple of times. Um, so we're going to see how it turns out. Uh, but I'm going to go ahead and show you uh, how we got to uh, this point right here. And then I'll come back and we're going to test them out and see how they uh, how they taste here in just a little bit. And there it is. That is the uh, pork shoulder that I just cooked the other day on the Pit Boss Pellet Grill. And uh, we're just going to repurpose it by adding a little red sauce that we uh, found at the store. This was already made. Uh, so we just went ahead and bought it pre-made. Uh, and we're just going to go ahead and pour that on this pork. And uh, she's going to go ahead and mix that up so that it kind of uh, blends in with it with it real well there. Uh, pull it apart and just go ahead and mix that up nicely. Starting to look good now. Then you saw it set up there. Then we got some masa. We're going to add a little chicken stock to this. Now this was already made masa. You can go ahead and get it and do it 100% from scratch. But this was pre-made. We're just adding a little, uh, she's adding chicken stock to it just to kind of uh, soften it up. And then it's going to mix it up uh, so that it becomes spreadable. And then we're going to go ahead and put it on the corn husks to uh, start the, uh, the uh, tamale process. And... Uh, it's starting to come together pretty nice there. This is a real simple when you buy the pre-made and uh, just go ahead and add that chicken stock to it. And now it's time to go ahead and start building those tamales. And there's that rojo sauce, that red sauce. All mixed up looking good. Looking good for these tamales. So we're gonna go ahead and wrap one up here. Goes ahead and takes that masa. Did I say that right? Yeah. Masa. And then it's just going to spread that all over that corn husk. Now we don't have no exact method of this. We just spread it on until it looks pretty good here. Don't judge me, guys. This is like my second time making me <laughs> making some molly. We like them. Usually have my mom here to help, but she's not like Okay, I'm gonna take some of that pork, leftover pork shoulder from the smoker. Want to add some black olives? Oh, yeah. Oh. <laughs> I always like some black olives in them. You don't have to add this. Sorry, right, forget. Oh. I just like a couple in there. I think it goes good with it. I don't have the ties, so there's no tie in them. There it is. You can show them. So here's where we're at so far, been wrapping them up. And uh, here in a bit, we're gonna go ahead and steam these. So 
we just put these in here, all the tamales uh, with cold water, and we just turn this thing up to uh, oh, about medium, not quite, a little under medium. And then we're gonna steam these uh, old fashioned for about, uh, what do you think? 30? 45 minutes. 45 minutes. So we'll check it. We'll check on it and see how they come out. So stay tuned. Looks pretty darn good, I think. Uh, took a little longer than 30 minutes. Actually, probably took closer to an hour. Uh, took a while to get steamed up. We had to cook it a little longer. And uh, tested it out a couple times until it, the husk come off real good. But uh, smells good. Let's go ahead and uh, see how this thing tastes. Some of that pork right there. Leftover pork shoulder cooked outdoors, turned into some tamales. That's some real sauce. Some, some real, what is it, roll whole sauce? <laughs> I call it red sauce. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. Oh. And here they are. We got, I don't know, how many did we count? Uh, I think, uh, what did I count? 27? About 27 of them. So we'll put these in the fridge and then uh, whenever we uh, heat them up. You usually put it in a paper towel, like you wet the paper towel and then put it in the microwave. It's a lot better in that way. Mm -hmm. So a quick and easy heat up, and then you could even freeze some, I guess, mm -hmm. if we uh, don't go through them. And we have more of the, the meat and sauce, so mm. we could top some more on top of that. Yeah. With some cheese and yeah. some sour cream. And yeah, we didn't, use, we didn't use all of the meat still yet. Gonna make some uh, rice to go with it. It's gonna However be good. Whatever you like it. Yeah, never how you like it, that's right. Gonna be cold in the upcoming days, so might do some more indoor cooks so just let me know what you think hey i'll see you guys in the next video